Good morning, Grade Five. Welcome back to Grade Five Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Today, let's learn about nets. You might have learned about nets of 3D shapes in your lower classes. So, what is a net? A net of a 3D solid is what it looks like when it is opened out flat. Or you can fold up a net to make a 3D shape. And there are several nets possible for the same 3D solid or same 3D shape. So what is a net? A net of a 3D shape is a 2D pattern obtained by unfolding the shape. Here you can see the net of a cuboid. You can see the cuboid here and you can see a net of the cuboid here. You see this cuboid is a 3D shape or a solid shape whereas this net is a 2D or 2 dimensional pattern. And you see how many faces are there for a cuboid? It has got 6 faces. So, in the net, the number and shape of the faces match that of the solid shape. So, how do we find out if a given net is the net of a solid? So, to determine if a net forms a solid, make sure that the solid and the net have the same number of faces and that the shapes of the faces of the solid match the shapes of the corresponding faces in the net. Then, Visualize how the net is to be folded to form the solid and make sure that all the sides fit together properly. For example, you see there is a cuboid and here a net is there. So, see the cuboid has got 6 faces and in the net also there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 faces. And the shape of the faces match that of the shape of the faces in the 3D shape. Also, can you visualize how this that can be folded to form this solid shape? So, this is how we determine if a net forms a solid. Now, let's see the nets of a few 3D shapes. So, first the net of a cube. So, what is a cube? A cube is also a type of cuboid in which the length, the breadth and the height are all the same. And how many faces does a cube have? A cube has got 6 faces like that in the case of a cuboid. So here you can see the net of a cube. There are 6 faces on this solid cube and in the net there are also 6 faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the shape of the faces match both in the solid shape as well as in the net. So remember, we have already told for the same solid shape, it is possible to have several different nets depending upon how you open it out flat. So let's see a couple more nets of a cube. You can see two more nets of cube here. And in this net, if you fold this net along these dotted lines, what you get, you will get an open cube. Whereas if you fold this net along the dotted lines, you will get a closed cube. Can you visualize that? Now we will see the net of a cuboid. So we have already seen the nets of a cuboid in the beginning of this class. The cuboid has got six faces and it can have both rectangular and square faces. So in the net also you can see rectangular as well as square faces and the total number of faces in the solid shape as well as the net match and also the shapes of the faces match. Now we'll see a different net of a cuboid here. See if you fold this net along these dotted lines you will get a closed cuboid. Can you visualize that one? Now we'll see the net of a cone. So a cone is a solid shape which has got a curved face as well as a flat face. So what if you cut this cone along this curved face and also you cut this flat face along the curved edge, you will get a net of a cone like this one. So this is the part which represents the curved face and this is the part which represents the flat base of the cone. So this is what the net of a cone usually looks like. Now we will see the net of a cylinder. So the cylinder is a 3D shape which has got a curved face and also two flat faces, one at the top and one at the bottom. So there is a base, a curved face and there is a top. So what if you cut open the cylinder and lay it out flat, you'll get a net like this. 
and see how the curved face has changed to a rectangle when you cut it open and laid it out flat. See, this curved face is changed into the shape of a rectangle and the top and the face of the cylinder are represented as circles in the net. So this is how the net of a cylinder looks like. Now, we said a net is a two-dimensional pattern which you get when you open or when you unfold a 3D shape and lay it out flat. And we also said that the faces of the solid shape and that of the net should match both in number and in shape. So in that way, is the net of a sphere possible? No. If you think it that way, the net of a sphere is not possible. But when you cut a sphere into segments and when you lay it out flat, you'll get a pattern like this. A sphere has got a single curved face, but when you cut it open and when you lay it out flat, you're getting a pattern like this. You cannot call this the net of a sphere in its exact sense. The next time you eat an orange, you cut that orange into segments and you lay out the peel flat and you'll get a pattern like this. So children, I hope this was interesting. So knowing about the nets of a solid helps to find out the surface area of a solid. So you have to go through this topic in page number 158 of your textbook. Once you have gone through it, there is a small exercise under the name try this there. Go through that and do accordingly. And also you have to complete the question number one, which is in page number 160. The question number one of exercise 10.3. You have to draw the net of the following shapes given there. So children, I hope this is clear to you. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.